the way the game works, I'll put a little more on to make it a little, to make it fair. Right? So the way it works is I have to clean that up before you hit me with the spoon. It's gonna be easy. <laughs> it's gonna be easy. I hope not. Hopefully, I get it. Just play them. Okay. I was wondering Are you ready? Set. Easy. I gotta say, go. no, you gotta hit my hands. Oh. All right. You ready? Set. Go. <laughs> <laughs> So the sheep have been staying in the barn for the last week or maybe two weeks almost because of the cold and wet weather. So I'm going to go clean the barn out today. It's uh, it's not that bad. It's just time consuming because needless to say the lambs are small and they can get into small places and then they poop there and then it's just a lot to clean up. So tag along. I want you all to see how capable this little tractor is. It's blown my mind a lot of times. It picks up our round bales. Fluctuate from anywhere from about 900 pounds to about 1,100 pounds. Uh, it'll pick them up, carry them around. We have a weight that we usually have on the front to help. But I want you to watch this. So I'm gonna pull all this dirt up on top. So that's where we pile all of our manure. And then it, since it's got rock and stuff in it, we usually put it in the holes. Uh, in pastures, not hayfield or anywhere that's important that we're worried about having rocks in it. This is roughly about 200 feet away. Um, as you can see, the temperature is not accurate, but you can. It's easier to see them than seeing them in the dark. In case you guys were wondering what sheep look like on thermal. We're trying something new at our farm. It's another way to bring in revenue. You get these people that want to live on a farm or think it's fun to be on a farm and just try it to experience it and you charge them $500 a day to come out and you just work them like a dog. It works out great for your farm. You get a lot accomplished, you make a little money. Yeah. You can sit back and enjoy the show too. This is Cletus. Whoa. My, what did that thing? My name is Cletus. I come out here. Yeah, I work in a, in a city. City boy. Uh, actually, I work in a, a factory. Yeah, I'm a professional, professional pencil sharpener. So, I'm out here for this week. Give them a fair amount of money. $500, that is. Be able to do some handyman work. Is what I grew up with. So, nice talk to that camera. Yeah, get back to work.
planet. The word wires after that thing. Wires? Yeah, I don't work. <laughs> it pulls electricity right out of the air. Oh, kind of like Tesla. Yep. Yeah. Kind of like that plasma stuff. I seen that on a documentary. That's top secret stuff there, folks. Don't you be talking about that electric in there. All right, now I'm not clear to some. I'm Bob, I'm Chrissy's dad and uh, Travis's uh, father-in-law. Just come out, stay sometimes, enjoy it, enjoy it out here, it's very nice. So, just being a little silly. From the school, it was about six hours of fun. That birthday again, seven years old. So the reason we wanted these boards taken down is because we're actually going to hang like the small implements like the subsoiler and this little three point ball hitch that we randomly use. We're going to hang those up, get them off the ground. And then the other thing we want to do is we want to hang some of our chains up instead of right now we're storing them in a milk crate. And I don't necessarily like the idea of putting them in a milk crate because that milk crate is very heavy. So we'll do that. And then there's going to end up being other little odds and ends that get hung up like top links. Basically, all the stuff that we have in here. It's dark in here. So all the stuff that we have in here, like little things like this, I'd really like it to be out there with the equipment. Just because a lot of times I come out and you know I need a top link. Well, I gotta come in here to grab it and then chickens like to really get in here because we store buckets that are ready to go out to feed the uh, the sheep and then also uh, the chicken coop used to be in here and then we took there had all their boxes and stuff over here we took all that stuff down and moved them out to a shed but just a uh, kind of an idea of what we are moving towards there's also some stuff we need to expand our barn and there'll be talks about what we're where our thoughts are with it how we're going to do it what we plan to do why we're doing it um, we're still just discussing. We we don't even know what way we're going to go yet because there's there's bright sides to every way just like anything else and we just need to analyze them and see what's going to work best for our farm. So, thanks for tagging along and I hope you enjoyed the video.